everybody i am the creative lady this is napolicious tv quick video I'll show y'all my hair so i was about to run out to the store i had to take a shower and all that good stuff and i ended up doing a full-fledged hair washing unintended so i had to look in the shower to see what's in here that i can put on my hair without having to get out first i co-washed my hair with just the corner that was left of some whole blends uh, conditioner and i went ahead and added the um echo black castor and flaxseed oil leave-in that i bought couple of times videos ago uh i didn't want to put the um gel on so i decided hey what's in here i had the miss jesse's curly pudding just hanging around the shower right so i decided hey let me just do a wash and go i'm on vacation you know i don't remember when's the last time i did a um filmed a video using anything miss jesse's or even documented using miss jesse's so that's what's in my hair right now i did the anthony dickie method you know applying everything i did not put an oil in so all i have is uh leave in and the miss jesse's and then of course the anthony dickie method of you know shingling or raking the product through shaking and then sitting underneath the dryer and then with a diffuser and then i came through and stretched it just a little bit with this concentrator nozzle so this is what it's looking like after coming out of the day one so i kind of like it can you see and every time i always have this hole in my natural so that's just typical but as my hair gets older this fills up i don't think i've got a bald spot back there i think it's just the way i part it anyway so and uh and i thought i was looking kind of cute I decided to use some of my other foundations and this is those NYX drops that I purchased back in January that I had to have that I hardly ever reached for. So I decided let me go ahead and try these again. So that is my foundation. And then I had purchased this powder, uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And this one is in number 40 dark and that is what I set my foundation with. So I guess it looks pretty good, but I've heard that it can go oily, so I'm not really going anywhere other than shopping for groceries, so I'll test it out, so I don't know if it's long wearing or not. So on my eyes, I did a little eyeshadow, not really sure if you can tell, hope my glasses are not glaring out, but I used my Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette, and I followed the PB&J from the guide inside the product and uh, I tried to recreate this. I didn't go all the way underneath my eyes like it suggested but I did um, just go with this purple the jelly shade and then I also used uh, I think it's nuts yeah nuts about you and then um, in the brow bone area here I used their extra creamy which is the PB&J so it's a white shade I didn't think it would show up well on me but I just used it all over the lid. I used it all over the up here and even all over the set my concealer that I used to uh, color correct a little bit. So yeah, I thought it looked pretty good. Oh, and my lips, the lips, I have um, my MAC Taraji P. Henson, the Viva Glam, and this is the latest one that she has. So yeah, that's it. So, okay, y'all, that's it. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I'm about to go get some groceries because I think I need some. No, I know I need some. I don't have any Coca-Cola in this house. And if you know me, I need a Coca-Cola in my life every day. I know. Some of y'all have coffee and other stuff. But, hey, for me, my vice is Coca-Cola. I thank y'all for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. of the whole blend.